so we have mask the last and this is our center line you can see our center line so now we are going to start the drawing from here this is where the drawing has to start from the front so now we are going to take a measurement from that starting point we're going to measure 0 0.7 inch 0 0.7 inch and then we leave a gap of about 0 0.1 inch and then we take another measurement of 0 0.7 inch then we leave another gap of 0 0.1 inch and then we take another measurement 0 0.7 inch so these are the places where the pattern has to start from from this side of the last so take a measurement from here down here about 0 0.3 inch and then you start your drawing from there so we're going to take our drawing from that measurement down to this place so just watch closely because this pattern is a bit complicated so we're going to measure 0 0.7 inch here you can see that 0 0.7 inch remember that is the original width of the pattern so we take the drawing again from that place down to this measurement down here so we take the second measurement which is this one we take it up and then we're going to take a measurement from here to here 0 0.3 inch from the center line 0 0.3 inch so we take a line from there So now we are going to take another measurement from here, this place, we're going to take a measurement 0 0.3 inch to separate the two patterns, that is the gap, we're going to leave 0 0.3 inch and then we take this one, take it from there down to this measurement here at the center so we measure again from here down here 0 0.7 inch 0 0.7 inch so we take it again from here down to the measurement by the side that is this one here we take it so we are done with the sketching you can see we are done with the pattern hope you can see it the pattern is a bit uh, complicated so um, we're going to cut it out now and then we're going to develop it so watch closely to see how and the part I have to cut out so after cutting it out you make sure you have a cardboard paper that you can fold into two equal part so you fold the cardboard paper locate the center with a line
So after drawing the straight line, you paste the pattern along that um, straight line. So you make sure you take your time to paste it properly on the cardboard paper. So after that we are going to be adding our lasting allowance. So I'm going to be adding one and a half inch as the lasting allowance. And after that you extend the patterns one after the other. You know there are three patterns in this diagram so you extend the patterns the three of them one after the other So now we are going to add up the length of this strap here because we I mean, we need to fold it over to the one of the patterns so we extend it make sure you have enough allowance and then the next thing we're going to fold it to into two equal parts and then we cut it into shape So after cutting it into shape, you can see that, you can see what we have here. We're going to punch each of the pattern so that we can be able to mark it out. So we punch from this line down to this place. And then we punch along this one too, down to here. And then we punch from here, along here, down to this place and that also here and then we punch this one too down to this place you see it so that is what we are going to be doing next so we can be able to mark it out and separate the patterns so i am done punching the lines you can see it so you see this one so i'm going to mark along this line down here you can see that mark here down to this place and also this one down to this strap here so that is what we're going to be doing next so we're marking out the first part which is from here comes up here then to this place so you can see it, that's the first part of the pattern, the one that looks like T. So now we extend our line. So at this point, we're going to remeasure to make sure that this strap is up to 0.7 inch. 
so if it is not up to 0.7 inch you need to make it up you make it up and then you take the line So I hope you can see the pattern now properly. So let me make the dots. Let me join the dots and make it visible enough. So before you cut the pattern into shape, remember to locate a mark so that you can know the facing of the pattern, where it's supposed to be inside and outside. So we are marking out the second part of the pattern now, which is from here, we mark from here down here, then take this ones the dots take it like this and then we'll mark here too down and take this line too you can see it running through you can see it down here so that is what we have done now so hope you can see the shape so let me make it visible also hope you can see what we have here hope you can see it this is a second part of the pattern so this is our facing here our facing so we cut it into shape now so now we're going to mark through from here through here through here down to this place and then from here hope you can see it from here goes this way to this side then down to this place that is the third part of the pattern and that is what we have done so let me now make it visible also So this is our facing here, this is our facing. So now we're going to call this one also into shape. So let's try it on the last and see how it looks. So remember, make sure you mark each pattern where it's supposed to be so that you don't mix it up so this one has to come second after the T
so this one has to come this way under then we we'll fold the strap under it so that is how it is going to go i'm going to cut the strap it is not going to be showing at the front that way so you can see what we have here so let me set it very well so that we can be able to see it and how it looks So you can see what we have here we are done with this tutorial don't forget to subscribe if you have not and also hit the bell icon to get updates as soon as our next video drops because we have a lot of video lined up and they are going to be coming as time goes on so you can see our raw file this is what we made first and then from this we generated the patterns so thank you have a nice day and uh, see you in our next video